In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a cool ice type effect using Adobe Photoshop CS4, uh, like the one you see on the screen. First, I'm going to delete my example layer. Currently, my document is set at 9900 by 3600 pixels with a background of a bluish to violet gradient. I'm going to select the type tool type in my name. The type is Cooper Standard Black with 375 point. I'm going to go and center this. At this point some tutorials tell you to use the liquify tool to create more of a wavy look but I think that should be left for the water type effect rather than the ice effect because water has more waves than uh, ice and I chose this Cooper standard purposely because it has more of a curvature like the smooth round curves than sharp edges which looks really nice for the ice effect so what you want to do is go to filter render Difference Clouds, click OK to rasterize type, edit, stroke, and the width of 30 pixels with the color of black. Next, Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, Radius of 13 pixels, Uh, you want to duplicate this layer. Then you want to select the James layer. Go to Filter, Artistic, and Plastic Wrap. You can see the example on the left screen. I currently have my settings set at the highlight strength of 20, detail of 11, smoothness of 8. I'm going to uh, change the blend mode to overlay. Then I'm going to select the James copy layer. Go to filter, sketch, and chrome. Again, you can see the example at the left over here. Uh, my settings are detail of 8, smoothness of 6. And if your chrome is black like this, what you want to do is press Control i to give it this uh, white chrome look. Again, I'm going to change this mode, blend mode, to overlay and I'm going to change the opacity to 90 percent and then I'm going to select this James layer the middle layer and duplicate it then I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light and the opacity to 25 percent and this is actually optional if you want more of a sparkly type of a look, create a new layer, select the brush that's more of a, a star type brush, and give it some high. Oops, change it to a white color, and give it some highlights like this or more of a sparkle type I actually don't like giving it uh, too many sparkles I just uh, want to give like one or two for each letter next uh, you want to select these four layers hold control and press G to group it Again, you can duplicate this 
group go to edit transform flip vertical select your move tool and just move it down like this then you want to select the layer mask press G for gradient hold the shift button and drag your gradient up like so and then you have a reflection which is I think like standard these